Cable falls, FTSE rises as Bank of England raises its growth forecast. Healthcare, the worst performer on earnings disappointment. And Deutsche Bank drops on second full year net loss. We'll get the details of those headlines in a moment. First, let's take a look at how the markets are faring this Thursday. So as you can see there, Germany still being dragged marginally lower by the Deutsche Bank at news this morning. France 40, though, now higher up a quarter of a percent, though. And the FTSE 100 there up three quarters of a percent, extending earlier gains after the Bank of England upgraded its growth forecast for the next three years. The BOE boosting its forecast to 2 percent. That also sent the pound down below 126 against the dollar, having hit a seven-week high ahead of the BOE announcement, as you can see here on this red candle. In a sign of a developing split among policymakers, the BOE said some of its rate setters had moved a little closer to their limits for tolerating an overshoot of the bank's 2% inflation target, causing, caused rather by sterling slide since June's Brexit vote. If we take a closer look at this chart here, you can see though that although we're down today, we are continuing to trade in this upward channel. Also impacting sterling today, a statement by the Brexit Minister David Davis as he presents the Brexit white paper to the House of Commons. Now, don't forget, for more in-depth insight into GBP on the, on the back of the Bank of England's announcements, you can join Daily FX currency analyst James Stanley. That's at 8 p.m. tonight. He's going to look at various uh, uh, sterling pairs to see where these new themes might be most advantageously followed. Moving on though, and let's take a look now at some of the companies moving here in Europe. And healthcare is one of the worst hit sectors. AstraZeneca reporting a 5% drop in annual revenues as growth in emerging markets in Japan offset by declines in sales of its Crestor and Nexium products. You can see there we are down three quarters of 1% but off the lows of the session currently. And it has been trading in this uh, tight range as you can see here for around the past week. Another healthcare uh, company uh, moving today is Novo Nordisk. It reported fourth quarter profit of 1.26 billion, but lowered its 2017 outlook down over. Well, it was down over six percent at the moment. The stock declining 40 percent in the past 12 months. Turning attention to telecoms, and Vodafone has been another mover today, but it's recovered from an earlier 3% drop in its share price, now trading just down under a half of a percent. This morning it said its full year guidance would come in at the lower end of expectations. It did report a 1.7% growth in organic service revenue. The CEO saying that overall performance in Europe and Africa does remain strong, but in the UK they face heightened competition in their business in terms of the share price so we are lower today and in fact 10 percent down from this year's high of what we had at 215 on january the third now the company we're watching uh, today here in europe is a deutsche bank i mentioned at the top it's dragged the, the germany uh, 30 down it is in fact uh, down just over five percent having been down over six percent at one stage today that after it posted a net loss of 1.9 billion euros for the fourth quarter, revenue falling 10% last year to 30 billion, which it blamed on several issues, including a challenging market environment. Those are their words. If we take a look over the past a couple of months, though, uh, here on the chart, you can see, though, it has risen 83% in total uh, since we saw the lowest in more than 20 years back in September when it hit uh, 989. 20 euros though, if we zoom back into the chart, that we can see that uh, 20 euros though has proved too hard a resistance level uh, for it. Now trading though on the 20 day moving average and that will be a uh, key to watch there. Looking ahead now, and in the US, uh, the one to watch will be Amazon. The online retailer is expected uh, to report a 25% increase in fourth quarter sales. Um, that's with earnings per share expected of $1.35. The long-term trend line for Amazon is certainly up. The stock jumping 50% in the past year. The e-commerce giant hitting a record high of what $847.21 in 2016. Currently trading uh, around about that 8 to 37 level. Beware the stock though is prone to big moves after reporting earnings. It can easily gap up if they report strong numbers or indeed gap down if they miss to do remember to have your stops in place there. 
And tomorrow, of course, all markets will be watching non-farm payrolls to get more clues as to the speed and strength of the expansion of the U.S. economy. And after ADP beat estimates by quite some margin, economists have been revising estimates uh, for non-farm payrolls. The median forecast is around 172,000 jobs to be added in January. That compares with 156,000 in December. Meanwhile, the unemployment rate expects to remain unchanged at 4.7%. That's all uh, from Europe uh, for now. We'll see you again uh, tomorrow. Have a very good trading afternoon.